Hey guys, ADHD here, and today's video is Cartoon Wednesday. It is back. You guys requested it. I have all your guys' requests in mind. We're going to be doing Johnny Test House. We're going to be doing the Cabins from Total Drama Island, Bubby from Misadventures of Flapjack, um, what else? Garfield's house. We have a bunch of stuff coming up, guys. We're starting off very soft this week just so I can start building them and getting them kind of like stockpiled so we can start releasing them every single Wednesday. So for this week, we're going to be doing the Teen Titans Go Tower from the five-part series Island Adventures. So we're going to be doing this to this video. But next week, we're going to be starting with a brand new like, you know, set of houses. We're going to be doing, like I said, we have a bunch of stuff planned. So I look forward to that, guys. Cartoon Wednesday is back. It's my favorite series on the channel, so I'm really glad that you guys wanted to see it come back too. But anyway, Anyway, let's get started on this one. Teen Titans Go is one of my favorite shows, so we're going to be doing the Island Adventure like mini series they had, which I thought was amazing, so I really wanted to build this. As soon as I saw the, the actual Tea Tower in those episodes, I immediately wanted to build it. So, in this build, we're going to be needing uh, gold blocks, we're going to be needing a uh, block of emerald, we're going to need lime wool, and also lime stained glass panes. But you can also use regular glass, or no glass at all if you want just like a little fence there or something up here. That's the only spot we need the glass panes. But anyway, when we get to that, we'll get to that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, we're going to get started right now with the gold blocks. If you guys need me a huge favor and scroll down and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it for Cartoon Wednesday. That would be awesome. We're going to get started right now, as I said. If at any point in the video, guys, feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or rewind it at any point in order to catch up. But anyway, let's go and get started. So starting off, we're going to start with our gold bricks here. Gold block of gold. Then we're going to go up a total of 36. So we're going straight up, guys, for a total of 36 blocks. So it's going to be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So 36 of gold, blocks of gold going straight up, just like that. Okay, now that we're all the way on top here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work to the right. So we're gonna go to the right, total of 17 blocks. So we're going straight to the right, total of 17 blocks. So it's like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, just like that. Okay, now that we have 17, we're gonna go straight up for a total of 16. Or not sorry, sorry, 16, 15, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, just like that. And we're gonna leave it just like this so we can go ahead and start working the other side, and then we'll just connect them. It's a little bit easier that way. So coming down to the bottom here, I want you guys to follow along with me just like this. Get your lime wool out, and we're gonna work to the left here, guys. It's gonna be one lime wool, then it's gonna be six blocks of emerald. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna do it just like this. It's gonna be one lime wool, then a space of two. So one, two. Then it's gonna be six emeralds again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one lime wool, just like that. And then getting our gold here, we're gonna go up again for a total of 36, just like we did in that side. So going straight up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. And just go ahead and make sure they match up so that way you know you counted them both correctly. And if they don't match up, that means one of them was miscounted. So just make sure they match up just like that. Okay. And again, going to the left, we're going to do a total of 17. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And on both of these, well, we're already on that side, but we're going to go straight up now, a total of 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now if we connect these two, they should connect perfectly, just like this. And if they don't connect correct, per uh, perfectly, that means that one of them was miscounted. As I said, so we're just going to bring this side all the way over to this side. And they should add up perfectly, just like this. All right. It's a little bit further than I thought it was. There it is. <laughs> just like that. So should be a perfect T now that we come down to the bottom. So it should look just like that. Okay, so now that we have this at the way, what we're going to do now is we're going to get our gold. And we're going to go around that one time, actually. Just get your gold and go around this entire thing one more time. Just making it two blocks wide, basically. So just take it straight up. And then bring it out. Just do not have to count them out because we're literally just tracing it on the outside. And I'm going to just keep going. Normally, I would cut ahead here, as you guys know. But again, I'm trying to work on doing them more in one takes. Um, just, to, I don't know, I feel like it works. It just... I feel like it's just uh, it's a little bit smoother that way. So trying to plan on uh, you know doing more videos in one take, 
And I'm really excited that Cartoon Wednesday is back because I feel like there's a lot of houses that I didn't do, but you guys actually requested. So I, I didn't. I never did them because I didn't know if anybody wanted to see them. But since so many of you guys requested ones that I actually had in mind, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so once we have it all filled in just like this, we have this whole section right here done. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and take the lime wool real quick. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did on the outside on the inside with the lime wool. So take the lime wool all the way around the entire build just like this on the inside. So just trace the exact same thing on the inside. So exact same thing like I said we did on the outside, but just on the inside now. And this, just like the lines that I'm going to show you how to make later, are not actually a part of the tea tower, even in the island adventures. But in Minecraft, if you just use too much of one color, it looks a little bit plain. So I recommend doing the lines and doing this outline too, because there's a little bit of contrast to it, rather than it just looking like, you know, a, a big green tea. <laughs> so it gives it a little bit more contrast. And you could also use like lime glass too, if you wanted instead of the, um, the emerald, but it doesn't really give it the same color. So it doesn't really look the same, in my opinion. It kind of just looks clear. But there you go. Now that we have that shape done just like this, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and make those little bars I was just telling you guys about. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the right side, basically be in the inside, but come to the right side. And we already have one block there. So from here, we're going to count up a total of six. So just going to get your uh, block of emerald out, and it'll be like this. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. But from the floor, it'll be seven because there's already one down there. And from right here, we're going to take the lime wool and connect it all the way to this side. Boom, just like that. Next one, we're going to go up a total of eight. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then another line, just like this. Just bring it all the way across. Next row, same exact thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a row all the way across. That actually finishes it up on that part. All right, perfect, just like this. All right, so now we're going to get started on the side here. So for the side, all we're going to do is we're going to come back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our block of gold. And it's a lot of tracing in this build. So get your gold and you're going to trace on the other side of it, basically on the back side of this, all the way around, just like this, making it basically adding a dimension to it. So taking this all the way around the entire build. There's a lot of tracing in this build, guys. So this build is not very difficult whatsoever. It's just a lot of patience because there's a lot of filling stuff in. And I'm actually able to pretty much do this one. Like, I believe it or not, because I build my stuff so many, like I build all the things I build so many times. Like, I kind of can build some of the stuff by memory, which is kind of weird, I guess, but I can build, like, certain things, like, some of, like, the fan favorites, like, I can build pretty much by heart, like, and this is one of them, like, the Tea Tower, like, the Teen Titans Tower, I can pretty much build, like, pretty easily, because, like, I've done it already a few times, so this is just kind of, like, changing the color and a few little different things, but, um, yeah, so <laughs> this is not really that difficult for me, but... It could be difficult, I can see that being difficult. So now that we have that done, we're gonna do that one more time with the lime wool. So exact same thing, adding another row, but just lime wool now. But yeah, so like it's just a lot of patience and I've done this so many times that like my Minecraft building patience is like at the highest level, I think. Especially after building the Ender Dragon. If you get anybody here that built that, oh my gosh, that took a lot of patience if you built the Ender Dragon. I give you a round of applause if you built the Ender Dragon because <laughs> that took a lot of patience. That was like probably the build that took the most amount of patience because it was just so much filling in, especially the torso. Oh my gosh. And I'm trying to think of another build that had a lot of, oh, the regular show house. That one was like very critical. Like it was very, um, like it was very precise. It had to be very precise in a lot of ways. And that was frustrating and it took a lot of patience too, but it was worth it at the end. All right. So now that this one's done just like this, now what we're going to do guys, is we're going to go ahead and basically we're going to go ahead and skip the filling in part. We're going to save that all for the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the side here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a spacing of a total of 10. So it's gonna be one, two, three, just counting on the floor here. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And on the 11th block right here, we're gonna go ahead and copy that exact same shape we have over there. So all you have to do is just look straight ahead and just copy that green line you have right there using the lime wool yet again. So just take your lime wool and copy it and it should match up just like this. You can even like, you know, if you wanted to just kind of go like this and make sure they do. Um, I, I'm pretty good at eyeballing it, but if you want to, like I said, you can do that just to make sure it's perfect, but you, I, you shouldn't have to do that. You should be fine. Just go ahead and eyeball it just by looking at them like this. So just go ahead and do it. And then once you get to the start of the same length, just kind of stop, you know, so like I see they're in the same spot. Now I'm going to go up. I see this one's the same spot. Now I'm going to go across. So I'm just copying that exact same shape. So we're just basically mirroring that side now. And then we'll fill everything in at the end, just because that's the part that's probably the most time consuming. And it's just, you know, it's not really worth trying to, you know, explain all of that right now. So 
Just go ahead and take that all the way here. Finish this up. Almost down to the bottom. A little too low. And it's all it's also a good training exercise. If you build on Minecraft a lot, you want to be able to, you know, kinda of eyeball things, know exactly where things are without, you know, having to measure every single thing. Okay, so now that we have that done. Now you guys I'm pretty sure you guys know what we're gonna do. <laughs> now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the yellow or not yellow, the block of gold on the outside here. So we're tracing this green line now with a block of gold. And this is pretty much all where this build is, is just filling stuff in. I think it's like kind of relaxing. I don't know. <laughs> it might be a little crazy though. So I just go ahead and take this up here. And if you guys might notice, we're not on my cartoon house world, which really is unfortunate because that world is like corrupted and it will not open and it really sucks because I took a lot, it took me a long time to build that world and yeah, it just really sucks because everything on that world is pretty much deleted. I mean, luckily I have videos archiving all of them, you know, I've made all the videos so I could remake them just by, you know, some of them, like I said, I know how to build by like pretty much like it's in my brain and like I can pretty much just build it if I want to. Um, but not all of them, so I'll have to do that one day and watch my video, my own videos to build them. <laughs> so now that we have that done, we're gonna go and do that one more time. Again, we're gonna replicate it just by doing another row of the gold all the way around again. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to, like I said, watch my own videos in order to <laughs> replicate them. I wanna build like a cartoon. Like one day what I wanna do is I wanna get all the cartoon houses I've built so far. Like right now, I think there's like 30 of them already or something like that. Um, and with the new, like all the new houses I have in mind, it's probably gonna be like a 60, like a 60 piece series to be honest. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. And I really want to build like a cartoon Toontown and like have it to where like every block is like, you know, one block's Cartoon Network, one block's Nickelodeon, one block's like, you know, Disney Channel. And like, you know, maybe even like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but maybe not even like that, but just like a whole Toontown, like a whole town made out of just cartoon houses. I think it'd be really, really cool. I know some of you guys have already done that. I haven't even done that. So I think it's really cool though. All right, so now that we have that done, now what we're gonna be doing is we're basically just gonna be mimicking the front in the exact same way. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go inward, just like this, and we're gonna go and trace the inside now, the gold block. So you're tracing the inside of the gold block, and it should be matching up with that side, because you see there's a gold row on that side as well. And like I said, there's a lot of tracing in this build, guys, so be patient and just chill. You know, that's what I like to do, is just chill. If I'm, you know, normally I'm commentating, obviously, but if like, because I build these like a few times before you guys actually see them, I normally just listen to music or something like that, and like, when we, like right now, you know, all you have to really do is listen to my, like, initial direction, and you can just kind of skip this part if you want to, but <laughs> some people like to actually know and see like every single block that's why i stopped doing like cuts because some people got tired of like me cutting in certain areas so i just like you know some people like this part's pretty you know i explained at the beginning but some people they need a little more direction which is understandable so this way they can at least see what i'm doing if they don't understand what i'm saying all right boom just like that so now that we have that done i'm sure you guys know what to do next <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around that entire thing now with the lime wool so now Again, on the inside, go around the entire thing with lime wool. And don't worry guys, we're almost done here with the actual tracing part, and then we'll fill it in, which is gonna take a while, but that's the most satisfying part, is filling everything in. Like, this is kind of like when you, like, uh, when you're using a coloring book, and you know you go around the edges of the whole thing, you're really dark with a crown, and then you fill it in. Like, filling it in is the most satisfying part. And this is kind of, it's kind of the same thing for this. Right now, we're just tracing and getting, like, the shape, like, you know, getting the outline for it, but after we're done, filling it in is gonna be fun. So now that we have this, so we're gonna go straight down. Just like that, perfect. All right, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on our lines. So for the lines, what we're gonna do is basically just ma like match these lines we did in the front, just like this, on the sides, and they should connect to the side, just like this. So this is our top one. This middle one right here, again, just making sure it's in the same line. Bring it across as well. This bottom one, same thing. All right, now let's do the same thing on this side. Just take the lines all the way across. This line up here. And the top line. Okay, so now that we have all of those, the sides done, we have the front done, we have this done, and now we have, oh, actually we forgot the back lines. <laughs> so take those same lines and bring them across. Just like this, I actually forgot about these lines. So just bring these across. And bring this one across. And the bottom one. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go to our front really quickly. And I'm gonna show you guys something. Okay, so now on the front to finish things up for the actual frame, what we're gonna do is we should have this area right here. So what you're gonna do is just remove these blocks we just have here for like counting basically. And you're just gonna take a bar all the way across with the lime wool. And then you're gonna find your center. So for that, you just gotta count them out or you can just look in the center kind of like this. And it should be like right around there. So just kind of find your center. The thing is, it should be like six blocks on both sides. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's my center right there. So it should be seven blocks on both sides. And we're gonna move one on both sides. And we're gonna take this up by three. So one, two, three, just like this. Same thing on this side, one, two, three. And then go ahead and connect them on top just like this. All right. And then you can go ahead and create your door. I'm going to go ahead and make mine out of like gold right here. Just because that's how the actual Teen Titans door is right here. Like gold. And then I'm going to replace this little spot right here. With. Um, let's do. I don't know. It's, I think iron door would look the best. Just like that. And obviously you want to put a pressure plate there so you can get in. But I'll do that later. So that's what the door should look just like this. And now we have the hardest part, guys, which is not the hardest part. It's the most, like, time-consuming. We're going to get our block of uh, emerald, and we're going to fill in every single piece of this, guys. So we're going to be doing the front just like this all the way up to the top. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're filling in. It's pretty much everything. It's everything we're filling in, but just to make sure everybody knows exactly, you know, what I mean by everything. I mean everything. So <laughs> everything from, like, that way, just like we just did this, all the way up including this whole big section with the T right here. I know there's a window here, guys, on that one too, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a bit, um, but just fill it in for right now. It's easier if you just fill it in and we remove it later. And then the sides, again, we're gonna fill in the sides just like this. And I'll actually show you the one that I go right here, this is a better example. Filling it in just like this, all the way. Literally everything is being filled in. If you already understand what I'm saying, then go ahead and skip ahead and fill this in. But I'm just showing for those who don't understand maybe, this is all filled in, guys. Every single part of this is filled in, all right? So just fill in your frame the exact way you saw that one, and you should be good. But I'm going to skip ahead for this, because this is probably going to take a few, maybe like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to skip ahead for this. Um, but go ahead and pause the video right now and fill this all in. Okay, guys. <laughs> that took forever, right? I don't know if it took you guys as long as it did me, but dang, it took forever. So now that we have that done, I forgot to tell you guys one little tiny thing, and I'll show you how to fix it really quickly. What you guys want to do also is you guys want to bring, just remove all this bottom row right here with the um, the emerald and you want to have this green bar along the bottom just like this the lime green I forgot to tell you guys that so you can just do it right now it just takes one little row so just want to fill it in like this and it's as you don't have to do it it's just it adds a little bit more contrast though in my opinion so you can just go ahead and do it like this if you like I don't even think that one over there has it but um, that was what the design was supposed to have so <laughs> you can just go and do it like this but you don't have to again so now that that's out the way all I have to do is this window on top so for the window what I want you guys to do is go ahead and find the two corner, like the armpits, I guess like you could say, <laughs> of the T, just like this, so like right over here, this little corner. What you want to do is you want to find the second block. So basically go to the point right here, this point, the green, lime green. Go up and to the right one. This block right here, go up three. So one, two, three. And on the fourth block, you're going to remove four up. So one, two, three, four. So again, the second block into the T, like armpit basically, and then go up by three and remove four. Same thing on this side. Find the T armpit. <laughs> That's about the best phrase out of the T armpit. So we're going to go in one block to the left, then go up, then go up by three. One, two, three, then remove four. One, two, three, four. And again, I'll show you exactly where that is again. And all I want you guys to do now is to connect those two to each other. So they should match up perfectly, just like this. So just going to remove all this, uh, you know, this emerald here in the middle. And just once you remove this, then I'll show you what to do next. But this part's going to take a little bit of time, and I didn't really think about it. <laughs> so just go ahead and do it for now, though. And once you have that filled in, or, or removed, go ahead and get out your uh, your lime stained glass panes, or any glass panes, or no glass panes at all, whatever you want to use. I keep saying planes, I mean panes. <laughs> whatever glass panes, or whatever you want to use, you can do that. Um, I'm going to be using the lime green uh, glass panes, but if you don't have that, cause I think Pocket Edition still does not have glass or, uh stained uh, glass yet I, which I really don't know why I think it does I'm not sure but I, I know for a while they didn't have it which I didn't know why but anyway so now we have that done you're gonna go ahead and go from both corners of the glass and you're gonna go ahead and do a row of the lime wool just like this all right going from corner to corner just like that and then go ahead and bring it out one more row 
And that is actually it, guys. You guys can do whatever you guys would like for the interior. There's no interior design for this build just because the Teen Titans Go Tower is too like crazy on the inside to replicate in Minecraft, really. So you guys can do whatever you'd like for the interior. But that is actually it, guys. You can be a huge favorite with that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. Down below is a playlist link to every single cartoon house I've done so far. There's over 30. I've done Loud House. I've done uh, Regular Show, Amazing World of Gumball, like pretty much any cartoon you could think of. I've done it, but there's still a lot more I haven't done actually that's gonna be coming every single Wednesday so definitely subscribe every Wednesday a new cartoon house drops and there's other awesome builds throughout the week so subscribe for that but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and as always I will see you guys in the next one adios